Hi, let's take a look at recording workflows in New Window Live 2. Now you can engage all tracks by using the global arm all tracks on top here. And as you can see, you automatically get the uh, input signal. So you can see if you have a clipping input or a weak signal coming in. From there, you can just engage the record button. So now you will record at the cursor position. So the cursor could be anywhere within the timeline and you'll start the recording at that cursor position. You can also set a marker and start the recording from that marker position. So if I engage the recording, as you can see, I'm recording all the tracks all at once. And of course, you can add marker at any time during the recording. Now that's recording all tracks. You can also record selected instruments. So for example, I just want to record the drum. I can select the first instrument and by pressing shift, I can select all the red sequential instrument here. And then I can click on any of the selected track here and engage the recording for those instruments. So now I'm just monitoring and ready to record just the drum here. And I can hit the transport button and it will just record the drums. I can also select a sequential instrument. For example, I just want to record the kick and the bass. I can press and hold command on the Mac, control on the Windows machine, and select the bass. I can click on record. It will engage the recording on the selected tracks. And I can just engage the transport, and it will just record the kick and the bass. Now we can also use the Meta View section to record. So if I click on the Meta View tab, I can arm all tracks, and I can start the recording. I can also add markers during the recording and name the marker as we go. So I can actually click on description, for example, and set a description, song number one, add another marker, song number two, etc. I can also change the metadata as we go or even change the recording folder if I'm start running out of room. So let's stop the recording, just hit the space bar. Tracks are all armed, so I still see my metering, so I'm gonna disengage that. Another way to record quickly, it's to hit the record button, simply here on the record panel. And it will arm all tracks, as you can see quickly, and start the recording. So if we go back to track view, you can see all my tracks are armed, and it's starting the recording. Let's go back to meter view and hit the space bar to stop the recording. I can also hit the easy record. I will do three things for you. It will arm the tracks, it will start the recording, and it will also lock the transports so nobody can hit the space bar and stop it. So if I hit easy record, three things happened. It harm all tracks, we can see on the track view tab, start the recording, and also lock my transport. So even if I hit the space bar, try to stop it, it will not stop it. I need to unlock it. So if I click on the lock here, as you can see, it release the transport functions, and now I can stop the recording. Finally, we can click on the track view and use the record panel, the little floating panels, which give you essentially all the features that the meter view record panel has on the, on the left, but it's floating windows, so you can move it around. Really here you get all the information. You get the track informations, where you're recording, you can see the meters, and you have access to the record panels with all metadata, recording folders, all the recording options, and the markers, which you can insert and name as you go. Now let's quickly review what we looked at in this video. We looked at the record enable all tracks. You can use the letter R to arm all tracks and activate monitoring. We looked at the transport record, which we start recording at cursor position. You can insert and name markers during the recording by using the Shift plus M buttons. We looked at the record function of the record panel under meter view, which arm all tracks and start recording at cursor position. We looked at the easy record function under the meter view tab, which arm all tracks, start recording from beginning or from last recorded file, and activate the log function recording. We looked at the lock recording function, which disable the transport buttons. We looked at the metadata section, which can be updated as you go. We can change the name of the artist, engineer, director, etc. We looked at the add, remove, and name marker sections on the meter view tab. We also looked at the record panel, which is a floating record panel. You can move anywhere within the screen. 
which has the same exact functions at the record panel under the meter view tab where you can update the record folder metadata as well as markers